Hello, Marvelites. You're watching Marvel's The Pullist, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And for this special episode of Marvel's The Pullist, I am joined by Jason Aaron. Hi. Hi. He's writer of Thor, War of the Realms, and so much more. And your run on Thor is wrapping up. And so I asked you, what are some of your favorite Thor stories, some of the books that really got you excited about Thor? Uh, we wanted to talk about them, tell you guys why Jason loves them so much. So maybe we'll dive into a couple of those right now. Let's do it. All right. First up, we've got Thor, Ages of Thunder, number one. This one's a cool one. Why did you pick this one? For me as a reader, that was the first time I thought, oh, I, I think I'd like to write Thor someday. Matt did stories about young Thor, very much the young rambunctious god of the Vikings, yeah. fighting these really gnarly looking frost giants. It's a very metal depiction of Thor. And there's just like, depictions of Mjolnir with blood dripping down it, and Thor right. like dragging the heads of frost giants through blood the Blood falling from the sky. Oh, it's wild, it's really It's cool. like a metal song told in comic book form. Yeah. Our next book that you chose is Thor issue 380. And this one's really cool. This is towards the end of Walter Simonson's wonderful run on Thor, and oh. it's Thor versus the World Serpent. And an issue told entirely in splash pages. So cool. The gorgeous Walt art, awesome godly fight scene. You know, one god with a hammer versus a super dragon. And it's like, at that point, Thor is sort of not as powerful as he has been. He's wearing the special armor yeah, to keep awesome him going. Yeah, awesome gold armor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, we've got Loki, number one. This is uh, Esad, your frequent collaborator, painted this. Looking at Esad's art, it kind of solidified what I already had in mind for what Thor should be. This is exactly the kind of Thor I want to do. Like, he nails those kind of fantasy elements, but it does feel very real. Like, it feels like a place you could walk into. Our last book, not least, we're going back towards the beginning to Thor issue 157. This is so much fun. This is wild stuff. Stanley, Jack Kirby, the original Mangog story. I knew from the moment I got Thor, I wanted to do a Mangog story after I read that, playing with big crazy ideas. The Mangog, if you don't know, is just this monster that has the strength of an entire alien race that Odin had slaughtered. So he's like brought about by their, their concentrated anger. And Thor can't beat Mangog. I think that's something that's really interesting right. is Everybody like Mangog is just He's too powerful for Thor, and Thor keeps getting up and he keeps fighting. If you've never read any of the original Lee Kirby run on Thor, read that Mangog story. Yeah, it's dope. Jason, thanks for picking these books. Thanks for writing Thor and writing War of the Realms and doing some awesome, cool stories. Loved all of it. You guys should check out these books and so many more. Subscribe to Marvel's The Pull List every week on uh, wherever you get your podcasts. And watch the videos every week, and then stay tuned for what Jason's got coming up next. It's gonna be great. I'm Ryan. I'm Jason. This is Marvel, your universe. <laughs>